Okay, class, so the title of our lesson today is Show Me the Money. The standard is Mathematics 2015, second grade, and we will solve word problems involving dollar bills, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies using the money sign, the, sim the cent symbol, appropriately. Okay, so first we're going to talk about what money is used for. So the gist of it is that money is used for buying things. If you want a piece of candy, you're going to buy it. You're going to give the person money in order to get the piece of candy. So you also use it to exchange for service. So say I want someone to cut my grass for me. I will pay them to cut my grass. So we're going to talk about coins. So coins, whenever you talk about um, an amount that's less than $1, you will use the cent sign. So if I have three pennies, that's three cents. That's less than one dollar. And that will go after the number. All right. So the first coin we're going to talk about is pennies. So as you can see, the penny is like a bronze color. Um, it has the president Abraham Lincoln on the front and is worth only one cent. But a hundred pennies make one dollar. Next, we're going to talk about nickels. So, the nickel is silver color and it has President Thomas Jefferson on the front. It's worth five cents. So, 20 nickels will make one dollar. The dime, the dime is, I'm pretty sure it's the smallest coin that there is. So, the dime has President Franklin Roosevelt on the front and it's worth 10 cents. So, 10 dimes make one dollar because you would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar. Okay. So the biggest coin that we have within the four coins is the quarter. It has President George Washington on the front and it's worth 25 cents. Four quarters make a dollar. Many of you probably have used a quarter and try to get some candy out the little candy machine that has to you have to use a quarter for it. So that's when you will use a quarter for most times. Then next we have the dollar bill. Whatever we're talking about an amount that's greater than one dollar, we're going to use the dollar sign. The dollar bill is worth one dollar. But if I had two dollar bills, then I would have two dollars. So let's watch this little um video about singing about money i'm sorry singing about money i'm sorry about the um advertisement <clears throat>
All right, guys. So let's go back to our listing. So what really helped me to remember this growing up, and I was taught this, was it goes from a lower cent to well, a, the least amount cent to the highest cent. So it goes from 1 to 5 to 10 to 25. So that's what made me help it, like help me remember it. So we're going to um, figure out how much money this is. So how much money do you see? So if we have one dollar, how much is one dollar worth? One dollar. If you said one dollar, you were correct. But if we have two dollars, that's what? Two dollars. Okay. So we, since we see two dollars, we automatically have two dollars. Let me see. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. So since we have over one dollar, what sign do we use? If you said the dollar sign, you were correct. So we say we have two dollars. That means you had to put a decimal between that. Then how many dimes do you see? One. I see one dime, so that's automatically ten cents. So keep ten cents in your head. So how many pennies do you see? Three. So there are three pennies, which means they are three cents. So ten plus three is 13. So we have two dollars and 13 cents. Okay, so the next one is going to be different. It's a word problem instead of it, you know, showing the money. So if I have one dollar, three dimes, and two pennies, how much money do I have all together? Okay, so one dollar. So if I have over one dollar, what sign do I have? The dollar sign. Okay, so automatically have one dollar. How much is one dime worth? Ten cents. So if I have three dimes, that's what? Thirty cents. All right, remember thirty cents. Thirty cents in your head. And if I have two pennies, how many? How much is that worth? Two cents. So thirty plus two. Equals 32. So we have a dollar and 32 cents. Okay, guys. So, hope you guys understood that and understood what was going on because tomorrow, when we come in class, tomorrow we're going to have, I'm going to pass out a worksheet with problems that are similar to these so you'll be able to identify what is one cent, five cent, ten cent, and 25 cents and then be able to write it like this okay and then i'm also going to um well i'm take that up or whatever and i'm going to grade it for you guys and give it to you and i'm going to also introduce our in-class store now this store is for you know in class only we're going to use fake money we're not using real money so you will be able you will need to be able to count the money out to what you know to buy what you want to buy so let's say, for example, um, I have a piece of candy that you want to buy in the store. Say the candy is 50 cents. You have to take out two quarters or take out five dimes. So you have to be able to count the money to buy, pay for it. So that's something to look forward to tomorrow. And thank you, guys. I will see you tomorrow.